Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. So, as I promised you guys, today it is time for our tour around uh, Elm Hill City Zoo. I mean, this zoo isn't finished yet, but uh, I promised you that uh, we'll make a tour that will basically end uh, season one of Elm Hill City Zoo. I will show you everything that we've built so far. I will show you all the habitats. I will I update you on all the animals because we have so many babies uh, and so many new animals in habitats. Uh, I will show you everything. Uh, if you are new to this channel, uh, I will put the link uh, down in the description and on the screen to the playlist of the speed builds of Elm Hill City Zoo. So you uh, will be able to see how we've built this park, uh, how everything uh, was created, habitat by, by habitat or building by building. So if you are like curious how I created uh, some things in this park, then Definitely go and check out my speed builds videos because there I show you guys basically how this zoo has been built uh, so far. Uh, so yeah, I hope that you will enjoy the tour. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so because uh, it is basically only a beginning of Elm Hill City Zoo and uh, we have so many uh, like plans for it. Uh, then if you don't want to miss it definitely uh, go and subscribe so as you can see uh, here is our entrance uh, to our zoo uh, it was inspired by the one of the entrances to the Berlin Zoo uh, it is basically looking like this I wanted to give it like the more of an older uh, vibe uh, behind us is a parking lot uh, with a little toilet uh, yeah, it is basically not finished like around because uh, I haven't got many t like time to do it, but it will definitely be like decorated around uh, here and finished a bit. Uh, so yeah, here is here are the ticket booths where you can uh, buy uh, a ticket to our zoo. Uh, here are little uh, like you know leaflets or maps that you can take with you. Uh, so this is basically how our entrance is looking. Uh, this build was actually featured on uh, Planet Zoo official social media. Uh, they like showcased it, so I was very very grateful ex and excited about it. Maybe you guys saw it there. Uh, so yeah, we are basically inside our zoo now. So there was an entrance and we have two exits uh, in here. Uh, and in here, uh, behind those uh, doors, are more of like backstage areas for the for for the staff. Uh, here is the like second build in the zoo after the entrance. It is a gift shop, as you can see. I really really like this facade of this building, and I think that in the future I want to like use more of it. Uh, so yeah. Basically, by the end of this video, I forgot to tell you in the intro, but in the end of this video, I will also reveal some plans uh, for the Elm Hill City Zoo and what we'll be building in the future. So yeah, this is our gift shop. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of like, souvenirs that you could buy. I really like those trees and how they are looking. Uh, so yeah, there are things that are like uh, props from the game uh, and statues for the game, but also some uh, you know plushies that I downloaded from the workshop uh, and some uh, some shops just around here. Uh, here is like an uh, let's say it's a, a cash desk in here, additional one. Uh, here is like a backstage for the staff, so they have a staff room as you can see here, and like some uh, warehouse for the staff for the gift shop. Uh, basically, this is more of a like zookeeper or staff uh, perspective tour, <laughs> I should say, because we'll be also going to all the backstage areas and all the shelters just to show you guys uh, how they are looking. So yeah, here's the lovely fountain in here and here we have the restaurant or the food hall. It is open as you can see so we can go inside. 
and basically this is how it is looking. So the concept for this was that you go in here, you grab yourself a plate and you like uh, choose your own foods, like you have soups here, you have some meat, you know, soups, salads, fruits and so on. You can also order foods uh, in those like small restaurants in here. Uh, Okay, so there are more like cakes, pies, you know, cocktails and so on. And then you pay here, you go here, there should be someone sitting in here, so you pay. And then you can go and eat your food in here. So, oh sorry, it was my phone, I forgot to like put it on silent mode. Sorry guys. Uh, so yeah, here's the trash bin. Uh, you like leave your dirty plate in here and throw your fresh trash here. Here you can go to the toilet and then you have the backstage for it. It is a basically a detailed kitchen because all the uh, like uh, food is prepared in here. And here's also a staff uh, room in here. This is also a kitchen that I found on the workshop. Basically, uh, if you're interested in those things that are from the workshop in this uh, build, you can go to uh, my videos where I build them and there in the descriptions, there are lists of things that I downloaded from the workshop uh, and didn't like create myself. So you can basically download those things and use, it, use them in your zoos. Uh, so yeah, I can see that the balloons are very like uh, popular in our zoo, almost all of the guests have them. Okay, so let's go further this way, because here we have our first habitat that we've built for this zoo. Uh, it is a grey seal habitat, I started building this zoo and recording it when the aquatic park came out, so uh yeah we started with obviously with aquatic animals at first uh so here the guests can get this very lovely view uh from uh, like above to see uh, the seals uh swimming here are like more are more like shallow areas for them uh, here is the beach and if we continue further this way uh we will see the underwater uh like gallery that you can see them diving maybe some of them yeah there's one diving thank you seal <laughs> uh so yeah they are diving here it looks really really cool uh, here are also like those steps or stairs when people could potentially sit and watch them uh, and there's also another viewing point for them uh, you can see the beach, beach where they are uh, like resting. There's this rock formation that they're actually like going on and also resting. So it's really, really cool. Oh, here's one very close to us. Oh, sorry guys. So yeah, this is. There's also an animal talk point in here and some custom information. I created it while we still didn't have like custom billboards. So this is why it is like looking like this. Uh, maybe I will go and change it in the future, I don't know, but yeah, this is basically how it was uh, looking back then. Uh, okay, and our second habitat, maybe I'll show you this viewing because I really, really like it. Uh, you can see some other habitats in here, but we'll like go back to this in some minutes so then you go to the penguin house and the penguin house uh, my concept was that like to um, combine more tropical plants outside of the habitat and basically uh, an environment like is what the, that is much colder for the penguins uh, inside of their habitats so there you can uh, you have this first like viewing uh like this window where you can see them there are a lot of them swimming right now so it's really really cool uh and we have a lot of babies as, as you can see we basically started with i think six of them and now we have like i don't know like 20 or something so yeah they are like uh breeding like crazy in here so yeah there, there is a, there are those um uh, palm trees and so on and here you can see the penguins actually diving and it is really cool because I wanted to achieve this look the sun is right now in a terrible uh, like position but I wanted to achieve this look that you can see both uh, you know them diving and also their habitats uh, in here so I really, really like it I saw uh, this in uh, many zoos they ha that have penguins so 
I decided to create something like this also. And here has have this also this uh, custom uh, education sign for them as well. But I unfortunately I think that we'll be changing it a bit because I would really like to have additional like exit or entrance in here uh, because that will be basically the rest of the park and then the guests have to like go around this whole building just to like uh, exit it which is like quite weird so maybe we'll change it a bit and to make those uh, you know education signs somewhere on the I don't know on the sides so yeah let's go further because we have like two more really cool viewing uh, galleries for them here is another one that you can see the uh, you know the water uh, area from above and here is also this really cool uh, that you can see them up close they are also near this food trough so uh, yeah there are there are a lot of them basically as you can see um, so yeah, we can uh, exit this house in here or in here and basically this is where the rest of the zoo will be but it's not right now so uh, we'll be expanding expanding, expanding it Sorry, uh, in the future uh, so th let's not pay attention right now to those like blank spaces and let's go uh, back because I want to show you uh, the rest of our park okay so now we have this really lovely alley like uh, in more of the forest part of the zoo uh, here's the backstage for the restaurant so there's this kitchen that I showed you uh, and now I think that we can go to the shelter of the seals which is in here uh, here we have the filter and the heater for the seals it's not so interesting so I won't go there but here we have the shelter uh, with some like backstage stuff in here as you can see uh, we can like go in and here are the lovely seals I really like the baby seals uh, in here they have also this water feature in here because when they are basically closed in there like we have too many of them them right now I think for this shelter but when Oh, as you can see, they also can go in there. Uh, it is quite realistic because um, seals like like to stay moist. So even if they are close in the shelter, they should have like a bit of a oh, <laughs> something weird was happening. A bit of a water feature so that they can just lie in the water because they simply enjoy it. Okay, oh, a lovely seal. Uh, let's go further because here we have a very very cool building I decided that I want to have something like a zoo management building where the uh, basically the director of the zoo is uh, having his office and other like you know more office workers work uh, so uh, this is basically it in case you haven't seen that video because it wasn't too like popular on my channel I don't know why because I really really liked it uh, definitely go and check it out because I show you guys like other things we are basically building habitats in this game so uh, I could show you like different uh, you know building styles being building uh, options in here in there so definitely go and check it out so here you have this this uh, chill out zone for the workers they have this little garden in here and when we go inside we have this detailed uh, interior we have like offices this is the vets uh, this, this is those are the staff uh, you know uh, uh, staff buildings but I imagine that there are more like offices where workers work not <laughs> arrest uh, we have a kitchen in here for the workers we have like a you know a pin board with important things pinned to them we have those paintings and out here we actually have like a custom office 
where for example secretaries work or some accountants or something someone like this uh, here we have some backstage it is basically a trade center in there and here we have an office of our director oh, so his his there is his desk with his computer here he has some uh, you know uh, very important meetings about the future of this zoo uh, so yeah this is how it is looking I love this printer by the way it looks fantastic fantastic and it's, it is also a thing from the workshop so if you want to use it in your zoo definitely uh, like go to this video because there is a list of all the bl blueprints that I used in this uh, in this particular building so if we like uh, exit here we have a parking lot for the all the you know employees uh, there's some backstage area for them like a place for a cigarette or something uh, here are basically the bins for the restaurant and the backstage of the restaurant and the ticket booth uh, in there uh, here is the backstage of one of the habitats but I think that I will show you the, this habitat from the front side of, at first okay so let's um, let's exit this building and let's go here uh, there is also another part of this building it's more for keepers uh, we have the keeper hut in here we have some closets you know for them to change for example we have some tools for them uh, some wardrobes and yeah so here is another part of our zoo and here we have our lovely llama habitat as you can see we have a lot of babies there are basically four in here as you can see uh, and this is how this habitat is looking it is rather plain like a typical you know llama habitat uh, there's not a lot of uh, grass in there uh, but I really love this shelter it is a habitat that has this mold that the can animals cannot cross uh, and it is looking like very realistic but very plain and I really really enjoy it so here are the custom like info signs uh, obviously we didn't have any uh, billboards back then but maybe as I told you I will go back and change it a bit in the future uh, so let's go maybe here now because here are the reindeers uh, this is basically their feeding station there are also a lot of them oh we have an albino baby i didn't realize oh my god i think that is like i don't have basically many uh, albino babies in the uh, sandbox mode so it is something special uh, that we have uh, him or her i need to check it out uh, so yeah this is our reindeer habitat it is also like really uh, typical for a zoo uh, to have uh, a habitat for ungulates like this we have those tree protections so they don't destroy the barks of the trees and this is basically how it is looking we don't get like the perfect viewing through this fence but um, yeah this is how it basically is there's like this very uh, simple uh, but very like uh, zooish uh, toilet for a uh, gas so this is basically how it is looking it also has a little backstage in here uh, for the stuff uh, and yeah we can continue this way because this way we'll actually go back to the uh, seal habitat as I showed you I we've already been there so uh, this is uh, this like intersection here that leads to another part of the zoo and to this habitat but let's go back first because I think that uh, first of all I will show you this area uh, that we like uh, missed in here uh, so let's go through this lovely alley uh, like uh, you know there are a lot of trees in there I really like it I really like how it's looking how it is looking and basically uh, I think that it is quite like more realistic not to like spam the habitats like you know next to each other just to have more of those you know uh, places of you know basically some nature some uh, you know just places where there are no habitats that the guests can get some you know uh, contact with a nature for example in my local zoo sometimes you need to like go 100 or 200 meters through the forest just to see 
uh, and other habitats because my local zoo is basically located in the forest and I think that it is really really cool to make it like this okay so let's go further because here uh, are the babirusas our new animal from the a new uh, DLC uh, I love this habitat and I think that you guys love liked it as well because it is the most like viewed uh, video on my channel uh, so thank you for this uh, you have this mud pit here for the babirusas we also have this water feature that they are using uh, we have this uh, like forge box that they are also using oh here's another baby in here uh, and here is their shelter basically so this habitat is really really cool I really like it it likes it is it's it is looking like a typical like you know pig habitat in a zoo so uh, I really really enjoy it we have some custom billboards in here as you can see uh, we have I had this concept that you know uh, because I saw it a lot in the zoo zoos that uh, they are showing the photos of the animals with their names and, but it is quite like uh, hard to keep it keep up with it in the planet zoo because we have so many like babies very quick in this zoo so I will have to like change those billboards so often that I think that they will just stay this way and I wouldn't like change it every time we have a new baby or someone dies uh, so yeah there we can go now to the backstage uh, here we'll, we'll, we will continue obviously in the future uh, this is like the boundary of our zoo in here and let's go into the shelter of the babirusas right now uh, as you can see it is like a typical pig shelter uh, like a pig barn or something like this with those stalls where they are sleeping uh, they have those water uh, dispensers some uh, food troughs and basically this is how their habitat is looking from here there's this holding pen also there and yeah let's go back uh, here because also I want to show you the llama uh, shelter in here uh, there's this like uh, you know hay storage in here uh, and we can go in here Oh, it's quite dirty actually uh, because they also have those stalls uh, with uh, those water dispensers with some you know uh, cool feeders uh, there's like the food storage for them and basically we have as you can see a lot of them I love that they have like so vivid uh, color variations uh, because it looks like so cool and so realistic for them okay so let's go back this way uh, by the way this viewing for this habitat is also really cool so the staff can get like a perfect viewing for the babirusas uh, okay so let's go this way because now I think that we will go and see the backstage and the shelters for the reindeers and for two more uh, animals so this is basically like a little backstage area uh, here with some f like you know a uh, hay storage uh, some cars for the stuff like vehicles and here we have the reindeer habitats in here uh, it can be divided into two habitats if there is a need to do it actually I would like to like find find our albino uh, yeah here it, it is here like so cute look at the eyes here is so cute. I think it's our my first albino like a reindeer ever, uh, even in French transport. So this is very cool. So basically, yeah, they have this holding pen in here as well. And here are those uh, like two, let's say two shelters for them because you can it can be divided. Oh. Um, and here we have another shelter for our two. Uh, other species so there is this uh, pronghorn antelope shelter they don't have any stalls or something like this because they're very social animals so they can all sleep together uh, they can be only divided in here if there's a need so there's another shelter with a small holding pen in here and also we have the camels in here so there is this uh, have uh, this shelter with the stalls for them they are bigger because camels are huge animals 
uh, and also there is this one uh, part that also can be closed so they have this like holding pen in here and so on so let's go and see those habitats uh, from the right perspective from the guest perspective uh, so this is basically a pronghorn habitat as you can see we have so many of them I need to like uh, clean it a bit because basically pronghorn can have uh, even two babies so some of those females like had two and uh, I think that now we have like four males in here so <laughs> let's hope that I think that I have fighting turned off so but let's hope that they won't fight uh, here's this uh, like custom sign custom billboard I made here's another viewing for them like really really cool uh, with this sign because they're like sh shy animals so I wanted to sure that make sure that guests won't scare them or something here's also like a little nature point nature uh, thing like a pond uh, just to make this corner a bit more attractive for the guests and I also really like like adding those uh, you know nature stuff because it fills this you know the empty spaces in the zoo and yeah so let's go and see our camels because in here uh, yeah basically in here you know the zoo isn't like <laughs> Uh, finished it will be in the future so don't pay attention to those blank spaces in here we have the viewing terrace and the viewing terrace is both for the uh, pronghorn antelopes as you can see and the camels the camels live in here they are very loud so sorry for those uh, you know sounds I hope that you will be able to hear hear what I'm saying uh, so yeah, there's this per first viewing opportunity for the camels. As you can see, we have some babies as well. Uh, here are some you know signs for both of those animals, and then we can go back here and go down this little hill because we have this like main viewing uh, like spots for the camels. It is looking really, really nice. I really love this habitat. As I, as I told you when we were building it, it was actually inspired by a dromedary camel habitat that is in my local zoo in Gdańsk. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, it also has the pine trees and a lot of sand and it looks very like similar, but uh, obviously a bit different. And yeah, this is really, really, really cool. Okay, so let's go further. Here's also a sign sign for them. Okay, because mm, please don't look at it because I want to show it from a different perspective. Uh, okay, so let's go back to this intersection that we've built, we've been in already in here, okay and basically let's think that we are continuing this way because here is our small mammal house small mammal house in which basically we, we have small mammals so uh, they uh, all have like indoor and outdoor parts uh, in here so maybe let's go in right now uh, and see the indoor parts of the habitats uh, you know, I wanted to give it like very like more of tropical vibe, something different that we have uh, outside. Uh, there are some custom uh, info signs. Oh, again, we didn't have custom billboards, so this is why it is looking like it is right now. And uh, basically, in the middle, we have this really really cool uh, panda. Uh, sorry, not panda, koala habitats in here. Um, you also you guys really also enjoy this uh build of this habitat so thank you so much i also really really like it i love all those climbing structures in here uh they are basically able to use all of it but uh, i have some issues with climbing in my like um hill city zoo so they like are not probably climbing for you right now uh, but they were <laughs> um, absolutely able to use it all uh, here is the shelter for them and yeah 
we, as you can see, we, we can see two koalas in here. So this is like their uh, winter uh, and uh, you know colder months uh, habitat. We also have a summer habitat outside, but I will show you it in a minute because right now we'll uh, have a look on the Antwerp habitat th that is in here. So this is basically an indoor part of the Antwerp habitat. Uh, we have a baby as well, as you can see, they are really cute. And here is a cave for them. I was as inspired, you know, by uh, those uh, ant and termites uh, terrariums that you can have that you can see all the tunnels and so on and I tried to make it much more details with uh, lots of more of those tunnels but uh, artworks need a bit uh, more of space than ants just to you know traverse so I wasn't able to do anything like too detailed given the height that we have in here uh, so basically we only have like this thing but it looks really cool when they are sleeping in there and those doors back there is just to clean it or to take them out if there is a like like I don't know health issue or something uh, so yeah this is how the inside part of the artwork habitat is looking it is basically inspired by the natural uh, habitat which is savanna uh, in Africa, so we have those African rocks in here. Oh, maybe, yeah, you're going in. Thank you, guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, you are decided to. S no. Okay. <laughs> you are the basically not going to sleep. Uh, okay, let's continue because uh, there we have giant otters. I really love those trees uh, that were added with the aquatic park, those fake trees, because y you can create really nice things with them. Uh, unfortunately, right now, oh, there's one out on, I think it's stuck, I hope so. I hope not, <laughs> but it appears to be stuck, I don't know why, uh, because, oh, here's another one. Yeah, this is an indoor part of their habitat. Uh, it's more like tropical and so on uh, they have this water feature in here as you can see it is very small but they are still able to dive in there because they have bigger water feature outside uh, and yeah here is like a little cave for them that they can sleep in and this is looking very very cool so uh, I also didn't show you this but for every like habitat in here we have like a backstage part so there's like a backstage for the otters in here uh, okay here's a backstage for another animal so it is basically looking like this and the animal is the Panda, the red panda. As you can see, we had three. Now we have like ten <laughs> or something. I also need to kill, clean this habitat a bit. They are really, really cute. I love the red pandas. And this is basically their uh, habitat inspired by their natural habitat, which is like more mountains in China and so on. So uh, I use this different kind of rock. There are a lot of uh, climbing structures in here and also outside. They are sleeping a lot in on those rocks, so... Oh, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> they are sleeping here, so this is really, really cool. There's also this waterfall for them, which is looking really nice. And yeah, this is basically their indoor part. Why the hell are they feeding this animal like this? Okay, here's also... Maybe we'll be able to go through the wall, yeah. Uh, here's also the backstage or the s uh, shelter for the koalas. One is in the box. I don't know why, but I'll take care of it when we will f be finished with this tour. Uh, so yeah, this is basically how the shelter is looking. They are also using those climbing structures in here. Uh, so yeah, let's go back through this wall. And here we have like a pangolin habitat, Chinese pangolin. You can see one of them in here. Uh, as I told you guys in the video where we when we've built it, uh, pangolins are actually borrowing borrowing animals. So I wanted to build them like two burrows that are here and here, and they're actually climbing animals. They are they don't climb in game, but they are obviously uh, able to climb. They're spending a lot of time on the trees. 
uh, they have this tail that hel helps them climb so I build them some of the climbing structures they are obviously not using them but I just thought it would look cool so yeah this is how the small mammal house is looking uh, we can also see the backstage uh, for this habitat as you can see in here uh, so yeah so let's go now and let's have a look on their outdoor parts I mean the outdoor parts of their habitats so here is the advert advert uh, habitats in here it is as I said inspired by the like uh, savanna uh, they have the burrow in here that they can go into uh, and it is like more plain but it's look I think it is looking very very cool okay going further we have uh, the giant otter habitat we have this creek and with a waterfall that is coming through all the all this you know outer part uh, it is looking really really cool uh, and it is looking like more of a temperate uh, uh, like biome uh, okay continuing this way we can go and actually see the underwater viewing for them as you can see one is diving i don't know what is happening to my <laughs> otters right now they they seem to be stuck while slim swimming but it was look like working fine uh, when i built this habitat they have this feeder in there as you can see oh now we are in the water uh so they can they they use it like the keeper comes in here and um, feeds them so it is really really cool okay let's continue uh, this way there are some vending machines as you can see uh, because right now I'd like to show you the outside part of the red panda habitat uh, it is looking basically like this as you can see this one is uh, having a little snack uh, there are a lot of climbing structures for them uh, there are those like, shelves uh, on the those stones that they are able to use they are like going in, out there uh, up there so this is really really cool they have this like cave in there when they are sleeping as you can see yeah the climbing is definitely broken in my zoo <laughs> as you can see uh, so yeah it is basically how it is looking I really like those you know wooden uh, structure wooden elements that we used in here it looks really really cool and this is an outside part of the pangolin habitat as you can see we have also many of them so I need to take care of that here's also a little like waterfall in here uh, and yeah they have this like uh, cave or something in there when they are when are they are sleeping so this is basically how it is looking and continuing this way we have a binturong habitat it is located near the small mammal house because basically it is a small mammal but i didn't have any more uh like space in the small mammal house after uh, because we've built it before the new dlc was really re was released so yeah basically this is uh, the Binturong, I really love this shelter with the grass on uh, on the roof, and I really really like, like this like build and this habitat. As you can see, we have one of them in here. Uh, they are not climbing. I don't know why. As I told you in my video, this is a very like a PT. I need to like I f <laughs> I I like told you every I tell you every time that I need to contact the frontier and. Uh, eventually I will have to do so because I don't know it is a pity that animals are not climbing in my zoo because we basically will be building uh, habitats for apes for monkeys and what are they without climbing so we need to do something about it uh, so yeah basically this is how this habitat is looking from the outside and we can also go to the inside part because we have this like uh, experience for the guests they can go in here go down those stairs and here is an animal talk point and also uh, like an indoor habitat and indoor habitats uh, and the place where they spend their like colder months you know when they spend the winter uh, they also have a lot of climbing structures which they can potentially use but they don't do it 
here are the uh, custom billboards because it was the first habitat we've built that when the custom billboards were introduced so I made them myself uh, you can all find all my custom billboards on my uh, on my discord server the link is down in the description so if you want to join it you are welcome so basically this is how it is looking there's an entrance for this habitat in here uh, so yeah I really like this building and this shelter I think it looks really really cool okay let's go further uh, we can go here as you can see there are like a schedule for the uh, animal talk okay let's go here maybe through the small mammal house once again because we have three more habitats to see uh, okay and here we are uh, on this really lovely alley in here uh, like mar more looking like more like a, I don't know field or a step or something like this uh, here's the summer habitat for the koalas so basically they are here from May to September and on the in the other months you can find them in the small mammal house uh, there are two of them just to not keep the habitat you know plain and uh, you know empty uh, because of those glass panels you cannot see, see really well because and I will do something like this just to show you this habitat it looks very very cool I love those like small houses for them I love the climbing structures this whole this water feature in here and yeah it is pooping <laughs> of course when I'm showing the habitats all the animals are pooping yeah they are they have this really cool habitat with this platform where they are fed uh, and I also cre created those uh, custom like eucalyptus feeders for them and it looks really really cool uh, here are the custom billboards for the koalas as you can see uh, and here is also like a backstage part there's like a tunnel uh, with a keeper hut and then there you can enter this habitat as you can see okay so let's go further uh, this way because now I'd like to show you the two habitats that I really really like this is the Usari doll habitat uh, in here as you can see there's a custom billboard and this is their habitat inspired by the Dusari doll habitat in sorry someone is acting crazy on the street with their car uh, it, was, it is inspired by the doll habitat in the Wuppertal Zoo uh, it's more like a forest uh, habitat for them because basically they're living in forests so I wanted to like keep it very natural they are fed right now so you can see them all there on those hill there's one coming in here uh, so it is really cool I really like this water feature those rocks in here and going further there is this viewing really cool view viewing for them they can go in here and have a closer encounter with the guests which is really nice as you can see they are here they were actually remodeled recently with the newest update and they look uh, even like nicer now now okay and continuing this way uh, there's some info signs of the dogs around the world there's actually a dingo and uh, uh, usari doll so that's why I wanted to use it uh, here is like a very similar habitat when it comes to the shape but very different when it comes to the you know environment and how it is looking there are baby dingoes so yeah this is a dingo habitat uh, with uh, more like uh, canyon or something like this very like deserty stony uh, vibe uh, as you can see there are a lot of them in here uh, they I really like this habitat and they are losing all of it which I'm very like uh, happy about uh, so yeah here here they oh he's like violently violently losing this uh, ball dog ball uh, so yeah this is it there are also some custom billboards for them as you can see uh, here and continuing this way this is basically the end of our zoo 
uh, will continue this in this way in the future but what I want to show you uh, once like what I missed <laughs> and I want to show you still is the shelters for the doll and this dingo so let's go back this way because the entrance to their backstage uh, area is uh, near the uh, red panda habitat so we need to go in here and through this gate and here's like one of the entrances to the door habitat like w more for the mainten maintenance and continuing this way like don't look there because it's not finished at all uh, okay we have like a backstage for those two habitats uh, so here is a doll uh, habitat with a doll house as you can see uh, they are sleeping in here they're spending a lot of time actually in this habitat uh, and here's like this training room uh, that you basically see and uh, shelters of m those more dangerous uh, animals uh, yeah and here's some backstage stuff in here and the uh, uh, dingo habitat shelter is looking very like similar as you can see we have three small babies in here which is really cool uh yeah they're all lying down and this is also this training room uh as we had in the doll habitat okay so this is was basically all uh now uh i will show you the zoo from above so i will see you in a second so this is how our zoo is looking from above uh yeah as you can see uh, it is basically uh not so huge like uh we have uh only this part finished we still have a lot of it i would love to like use the whole map but i'm not sure if my computer will handle it uh so yeah basically there was an entrance with those two buildings the gift shop the restaurant here's the management building here's the seal habitat with a penguin house here we have the binturong habitat the reindeer habitat the llamas uh, the babirusas uh, the uh, camels and the pronghorns the small mammal house here is the koala habitat the summer koala habitat here is the doll and the dingo in here uh, and yeah basically this is how it is looking right now uh, there is actually something weird happening to the binturong uh, when I am zooming out because as you can see <laughs> the thin layer of terrain on the like roof of this habitat is like appearing when I'm zooming in and disappearing when I'm zooming out so <laughs> from this perspective it looks very like concretey uh, but yeah basically uh, there is uh, grass on it so in case you are wondering when, why it is lo looking like this uh, so yeah the this is our zoo Ex uh, this is basically not the end don't be uh, scared because uh, we'll have a lot of more episodes to come uh, actually in next episode we'll start another zoo but it will be another basically another project so uh, we'll build something completely different from this zoo I want to like a bit challenge myself a bit and do something really really cool but very different uh, so we'll have two series going from going on from now on so I am really excited uh, and yeah but the Elm Hill City Zoo is definitely here to stay and we'll be completing it uh, like uh, in the near future uh, and the plans for the future basically the plans for the future is uh, right now I think that I want to focus more on this side of the zoo because we started to build far like far in this side and we have don't have anything in here I think that I want to add another building in here uh, and make the path going like this because uh, we don't have like an information center or the education center or anything like this and I think that those buildings are really like uh, important for the zoo so I think that we'll build it in here and then continue with all the habitats and buildings in like this don't look at this it will also have like a 
uh, its own building because I think of building like a veterinary like clinic or something like this and also uh, a keeper uh, like cop or something like this when where they are you know there's like this huge backstage part for keepers when they have when they prepare food where the food is stored basically uh, where uh, the waste from the habitats is stored so something like this will be I think here but I'm not sure yet uh, and here will be like more habitats I want to also build more things for guests like you know playgrounds like uh, picnic areas like restaurants uh, so we'll be building those things as well uh, in here in the next season I think I'm like not convinced 100% still but uh, I think that I'll want to like focus on more on bigger animals if you know what I mean uh, so they'll be located somewhere in here but this is like not 100% like uh, decided so yeah this is basically what we'll be doing in the future like going in here then we'll be uh, building probably something in here i also want to like uh, join those two paths and make a circle in here so we'll have habitats both on those this side and in here uh, also i uh, want to build something cool in here and i thought of building it now but i I promised you guys this tour for so long that uh, I decided no, I will build it in the future. So maybe we'll build it in this season. I will um, like, I will like uh, consider it and try to like squeeze it in because this will be mm, like a very detailed build and I don't think that we'll be able to complete it in one video. I will see. Uh, so yeah, this is basically our zoo. As you could see, uh, I actually got, I think I got a bit better uh, while building when we like went further <laughs> in the zoo uh, because I basically uh, like tried and learned while, uh, while recording those videos. I want to be like, I want to learn and be even better while building so that I can show you guys the best content that I can. So uh, as you could see those habitats that we've built at the beginning were more were more plain and uh, not so detailed but those habitats in here for example and this Babirusa habitat were very detailed and in a slightly different style or so this been wrong. And I think that in the future I want to build more habitats like this because I enjoyed building and them so much. So yeah, you can expect something like this in the future. So yeah, this is basically our Elm Hill City Zoo right now. Uh, I This is a little update of how it is looking. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our trip. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you liked our trip, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Uh, comment down below uh, if you liked it or if you have any like recommendations or uh, comment also what you would like to see in our zoo. Uh, please subscribe if you like my uh, if you liked my video. If you like my zoo and you if we want to see it like developing in the future, definitely go and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.